All right, welcome back to Green Lizard USA. If you've been following along, you know I just picked up a Wave Runner 500 to pull the pump unit out to put in my canoe. And if this is your first time, I hope you enjoy. So I went ahead and started taking this thing apart, got this little seat bucket out of the way, and quickly found out that inside of a jet ski, the pump unit is not just down below. It's enclosed in fiberglass and not accessible from the top. You can pull it out from the bottom. So once I learned that, I went ahead and started pulling everything else out. So pulled the gas tank to make room for the engine to come out and started taking out all the hardware and loosening everything that I needed to to get the engine out. It was uh, actually quite easy. I was proud of myself. I have never pulled an engine in anything else and got this engine out in about an hour and didn't need a chain hoist or any any help to lift it out. It was heavy, but it was doable. It could be a it could be a one person job. So with the engine out of the way, I can give that back to the guy I bought this jet ski from. I went ahead and got my wrenches and sockets out and started taking off everything else I could, like these motor mounts and anything else that was stainless steel that could be used in the canoe build. So that was pretty easy. Nothing was seized. Um, I was swimming in a, in a bath of oil and gasoline the whole time, which maybe helped the bolts come out, but everything was really clean. Um, this, this boat is 30 years old and taking it apart in some ways looked like it had just been built. I took a lot of pictures along the way too of the steering and various linkages because everything was just so well made and it has stayed so clean over time. Underneath the bottom of the hull, you can see the grate covering the intake for the pump. And there's just another picture kind of looking inside the pump. I'll certainly utilize this whole assembly on the bottom of that canoe. It's simply bolted on in a handful of locations. There's probably a dozen or more bolts, <clears throat> about a 12 millimeter uh, bolt head. So it was just super easy. The whole time, all you needed was a Phillips head screwdriver, a number two Phillips, a 10, 12, or 14 millimeter socket to disassemble basically everything. Uh, it really didn't take a whole bunch of tools. So backed out all those bolts and started to figure out what this would look like. I'd never done this before, didn't watch any how-tos, but loosening bolts is a good way to learn how, to think, how things to come apart. So I went ahead and pulled that grate off, which protects the intake for the pump, and continued looking at uh, the whole thing and was wondering what was next. So after that point, went ahead and got a flathead screwdriver to pry off the rear skid plate, if you want to call it that. And it's a pretty large one. Uh, I might be able to use that on the canoe. I might build something a little different, but got that out of the way. And then I could really see the whole pump unit. And this is when I realized that <clears throat> if you're going to take one of these apart, you just do it from the bottom. You hardly need to do anything from the inside. So again, having not seen one of these before, uh, kind of just looked around, tried to understand a bit what I was working with, but it was super simple construction. Most things came apart sort of intuitively uh, without any kind of experience needed. You can see the steering mechanism back there, that little nozzle diverter and the cable that like pushes and pulls to turn it. And all that was in great shape, so I'll be able to use that again. Had a little spring-loaded mechanism that you could take it off the nozzle with, and then I went ahead and pried off all those hoses that were connected to the pump. I think those are for supplying water to the, the engine that I'm not, not actually using. So here I'm taking off four bolts. I think they were 14 millimeter. Uh, those sort of hang the bottom of the pump unit from the, the underside of the jet ski. And once you get those out, it's basically free. So take the skid plates off, take those bolts out, and you just slide this thing right out. I gave it a little wiggle and it just popped right out and the shaft has a spline on the end which goes inside the hole but i mean compared to many things that you take apart automotive or um, in your home it can be a challenge but this was this was actually really easy i actually told a friend that uh, i'm thinking about getting another one just for the joy of taking it apart um, i don't even need it but it, it sure was fun to take apart well i hope you enjoyed watching this video i'm going to put that pump unit you just saw inside a 174 Penobscot Old Town canoe. So keep on coming back and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for things I should or shouldn't do with this canoe build and the pump unit, please let me know, comment down below, 
and I'll be happy to read them and reply and maybe even incorporate some of your ideas into this crazy new build. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and keep on coming back to Green Lizard USA.